And now I ask for you to join me into the bardos of the unknown, where a recently demised Dakota Slim hunts for any rhyme or reason as to where he may be, and comes across a strange fellow, a my big. Stay tuned for March 20th for the Hunt Quinox of 2023. And now, the continuation of Zozoba. We last left our woeful, wistful, wimpish cohort of the desert, Mr. Dakota Slim, at the very end of his natural life. Don't take it from Slim, take it from the dead man Ronnie, his old friend, murdered before him, now reanimated to tell him and warn him of the world that awaits. As Slim's watery tomb raises from the flood of the arroyo, the raging storm begins to subside. Slim rises like Lazarus onto the dirt. While Slim searches for his hat and burnt earth of the Black Mesa, Three spherical tears in the atmosphere rip the skies. The pink tears form a tetherless triangle hovering above a crouched Slim. Salvo, siempre salvo. Slim mutters in wide-eyed awe. Slim would not consider himself a pious man, and as a matter of fact, many considered the troubled boy a heretic. But the words that were written on his orphan basket always finds his tongue in times of duress. The hypnotic trance of the cackling ghost orbs breaks as Slim notices an iron taste in his mouth. His nose is bleeding, but he cannot look away from the psionic siren song of these magnificent mob of black holes. Through the psychical hum of the untethered terraces breathing, Slim notices whimpering coming from two small legs dangling from the top sphere. It looks as though an armless child in a white sheet and oversized shit kicker boots is trying to find their way down to the Black Mesa. The sheet ghost hits the ground in a dust devil of ash as the orbs blip into deafening silence, as if a cathode ray television was suddenly turned off. Slim's bloody face scrunches as he tries to see who, or what, just came through. Every fucking time. A voice from behind Slim startles him into a mad turnaround, but nothing is in front of him. Hello? Down here, asshole. Slim lowers his gaze to a sheet ghost clad being less than half his size. Slim lets out an audible squeak as he pulls himself back. I always get the fucking high one. I'm bringing a damn ladder next time. I swear it. The sheet ghosts unnaturally large human eyes meet Slim's. They are ordained in an orange hue radiating under a glowing circle on the pinnacle of its forehead. His eyes and forehead circle create the same three-dot tetherless triangle that birthed him. You use your bandana to collect the blood from your face, you get out. Slim snaps back and realizes his nose is still bleeding. He unties his orange bandana from around his neck and wipes. Slim glances at the blood-riddled bandana, and just as he was considering throwing it away, the sheet ghost halts. You'll need that blood and the bandana. It's one of your Vajra. Vajra? Vajra? Who are you? Oh, wait! 
The sheet ghost turns its head and emits an ethereal projection of young Slim chasing a coyote from the cyclopean dot on his forehead. Damn it. Wrong off, wrong tonight. The sheet ghost ends the projection. I get all you damn wankers mixed up. Hello, hi, how are you? I am Minnie Mae, but you know me as a being of May. The spider of symbols, the scolder, the ruiner, the plains drifter, the not late for dinner. -er. Slim tucks his blood-soaked bandana into his vest pocket. A, uh, maybe? Maybe! Okay, how do I leave, maybe? Neither, neither. Mr. Dakota Slim, you are in for a trouble. Anyways, tune in next time. The Prag Magic Radio Hour for the continuation of Zozobra. The death of Dakota Slim. Today's episode of the Prag Magic Radio Hour has been presented by those kindly coops of We the Hollow and Lovin' Specialty Kitchenware. Nothing says lovin' like an orgone oven. Guaranteed to make your next cooking experiment absolutely ecstatic. Now back to the show.